and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for an Omni Tears donation deck. Uh, this deck looks pretty crazy and uh, you know we're going to try it out, see how it goes. Uh, I get so basically what it looks like is it looks like this deck is is really built for the best of one format with masterminds acquisitions uh, being a really powerful card in best of one but in in best of three isn't as good uh, but in best of one like getting access to a sideboard um, is is a really powerful thing but we're gonna go ahead and just try the deck in best of three and see what happens uh, even though this is a deck built for best of one. But basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get put four permanents onto the battlefield between Guild Globe, Risen Reefs, Narsets, Teferi, Tamiyo, Golos. We don't have a lot of permanents, but we want to have four of them on the battlefield and cast this Flood of Tears and return uh, them back to our hand and then put this Omniscience into play off of the Flood of Tears. So that's our, this is our combo, our Omni, this is our Omni Tears deck. So we put Omniscience into play, and then we get to just cast all of our spells from our hand without paying their mana cost. So then we get to just play whatever we want for free the rest of the game. And so then hopefully we have a Mastermind's Acquisition or can find one. And then Acquisition goes and finds Thousand Year Storm. And then we play Thousand Year Storm and keep playing a bunch of spells. And uh, then Inscapable Blaze can't be countered, kill our opponent with all the thousand year storm triggers and the blaze um we can like keep on uh you know like the flood of tears works with like the tamio also if, if we have a tamio which that's honestly i guess the first thing that we do is acquisition to go find tamio because everything is free right and then our our tamio keeps picking up flood of tears which then flood of tears uh you know, returns all your stuff your tamio minuses grabs your flood of tears again and, and you know you just get to keep on doing this um that loop and so you can cast you know however many spells you need uh and you know i guess just keep on keep on playing everything and yeah eventually thousand year storm blaze them out um ryan this is always live streams are always live here so there we go that's uh that's kind of our deck i don't know this looks pretty crazy and we'll kind of see how it works out. As we were talking about before, I don't, I don't really even know where to make suggestions for the sideboard for like turning it into a best of three deck. We're gonna kind of figure that out after we're, after we play some games. But it seems like there's a lot of these sideboard cards, like especially Zakama, these other finales probably, um, that just aren't necessary to be in the sideboard uh, for making turning it into a real um, best of three deck, which is the the goal there j jack thank you so much for that donation for that donation deck i'll check that out here all right well let's get started let's go and play some games here with the omni tiers this one looks pretty crazy all right so we're gonna have another donation deck up next with J Jack having the skip the line donation there. Let me see, what do we got up next? Green, black, discard. I think we can keep this. The temple's certainly help our deck out quite a bit um yeah sure masterminds acquisition is a good card our hand's really really slow of course but that's kind of our deck so just hoping our opponent's playing a slow deck definitely don't want that Got 
Got to have the chapel in place so that we have two black next turn for the acquisition. I train every day, knowing I have just the trick for this. All right, let's take a look at this huge deck list and see what we would want. I feel like I just want... Yeah, let's go outside the game. And I think I want the Cavalier of Thorns, honestly. Immortal Sun would be a good one too, though. We would have to wait a turn for Immortal Sun. I mean, Immortal Sun has the highest upside, but if they find a Thought Erasure, then we're in a lot of trouble. This one's a lot safer, but doesn't really do a ton for us. But, you know, it does, does some stuff. I'm going to go with the Cavalier of Thorns. Hey, what's up, Canthic? Happy 4th of July tomorrow. That's right. I'll be streaming tomorrow during the holiday there. Keep an open mind. I guess clear the stage returns like the Tamiyo from your graveyard if you need it kind of thing. All right, Legion's End. That one's fine. I'll show you straight. Here we go. So Overgrown Tomb doesn't help either of these come into play untapped. Risen Reef's pretty sweet. Does get Legions ended though. So I guess. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's CMC two or less. Never mind. Not power two or less. We're gonna just just be hard casting this omniscience here in a little bit. <laughs> I guess I I guess I should build some kind of Jeskai deck for tomorrow. I didn't consider that, but I guess we should. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, so we're gonna have the Golgari discard donation deck is gonna be up next. That'll just re that'll that'll replace our Golgari Stompy. We'll move that to tomorrow. This isn't a fight you can win. We need to move quickly. Does this put the land into play tapped? Yeah. And this puts the land into play tapped? No, not tapped. Interesting. I guess my opponent's trying to Thought Erasure me there. Alright, so if we hit a land that lets the Glacial Fortress come into play untapped, then I can play the Risen Reef also. So like a shock land here. Yeah, this is... Test the weird brew against Esper Day, huh?
Yeah, I mean, we're gonna reveal it. Okay. Alright, we're almost ready to hardcast Omniscience. But then it's like, what are we doing? No! Alright, so we've had three Flood of Tears go. No! I am not making this up as I go! Yeah, Risen Reef is really, really strong. So why did they shock in? Oh, right, they get Keep to untap two lands. Might be a bad idea. Hold that thought. Is... <laughs> no, I, I don't think I don't think MTG bot has the new cards. There's Risen Reef. Well, the thing is, if we draw Mastermind's Acquisition, we probably win. We shouldn't scoop yet. Because I'm thinking that Acquisition... I mean, we may not win, of course, but Acquisition for Immortal Sun. Or even to Star Extinction. I guess Star Extinction would be safer. Immortal Sun has higher upside of letting us draw two cards a turn. Hurry! Yeah, it's Coiling Oracle, but it gives every single elemental you turns every single elemental you play Don't into a Coiling Oracle as well. Mind and body I guess we don't even draw two cards a turn because the Narsets. With the Mortal Sun. But it does keep. Keep them from just playing new Planeswalkers that do crazy stuff. Looks like another Thought Erasure. No. Right. All right, well, Teferi Ultimates. So need to take out all of these root snares. That was not a good root snare matchup. <laughs> that our, our opener was just two root snares and omniscience. Didn't really play any of those. Gosh, this is not a good gift of paradise matchup either. But is Gift of Paradise necessary for Flood of Tears? I don't know.
it is necessary for tears. Well, I'm going to take one out, putting in some more permanents with these things. Flood of Tears isn't really even that great in this matchup either, so I'm, I'm going to take out a Flood of Tears for the Star of Extinction and try this. So our next deck, we're going to have Bag of Holding and Vivian's Arcbow. Well, I definitely love these two cards. Yeah, we have Star Extinction, Elder Spell, Immortal Sun. We have ways to beat Planeswalkers. Not a lot of ways, but there's ways. Um, I don't I don't know if Deckmaster works with the new set, of course, because I, I can't see it on, on my side. Um, I would not be surprised if it doesn't. But I don't know if it does. All right, Cavalier of Thorns down. All shock lands this time. Last time we had like no shock lands. Drawn from dreams is a good, good draw. To be drawn from dreams. If you wish to surrender now, put thoughtfulness before action. All right, so we need a land to start with, and then uh, what else? Don't want to take the omniscience and try to get towards flood omniscience. I guess so. It's kind of what our deck's about. Meditate and prepare. I know 88 ways to defeat. I have just the trick for this. Golos. Put in the Central and Harbor. Don't really need another omniscience. I need to draw a land, an untapped land here. 
Untap land lets me go Guild Globe, then Flood, then Omniscience, and then Acquisition. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Here goes nothing. Okay, or we're just gonna Golos again. All right, well, that omniscience is gone. It's unfortunate. So the skill globe doesn't actually draw me a card right now. So I don't think we play it. I'll protect you. Yeah, the, the Wincon is, is copying Blaze. Yeah. So I have four mana left by acquisition. All right, we need to draw. We need to draw an untapped land. I've got time. Untapped land, Hawkeye. Okay. The focused and disciplined encounter no hone your prowess. Elder spell. Hmm. On top land would have done it. No, 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 because we, we only have the three permanents now. Never mind, would not have done anything. I can go grab my own Elder Spell. Well, we need more land drops. Gift of Paradise. Oh, but now I don't have an acquisition for after I have omniscience. Put thoughtfulness before action. Hmm.
We still have some Narsets to activate, though. Let's try this. That was the second acquisition. If you show, you know what? I'm not done yet. Well, our opponent could have just killed us. No, they could not have killed us. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, they had the mana. Yeah, if they would have just not used their Teferi, just Elder Spelled, those other two. No, I don't have any more of the Dig Through Times. Other option besides Gift of Paradise was grabbing a Risen Reef. That was like the other good option there. Get our time together. We had it. Next turn, we had it. They would have just tapped out or not had a Dispark or a Thought Erasure. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, didn't Elder spell the ultimate to fairy. No time for a break. Either, but yeah, I guess we could get lucky and hit omniscience. That's true, with the Narset minus two. You know, and assuming they have no interaction. All right, let's temple first. There's only one Omniscience left. So it's pretty unlikely that we have it now. I have practiced against many foes like you. I have just the trick for this. I don't have the mana for star right now. I could like acquisition for elder spell. That's not really doing me a whole lot. I'm just gonna flood. Yeah, we were one mana short a couple of a couple of turns. I don't know if I I play the Narset, they like Othakaya it. Or of course Elder Spell, something like that. This one with a get to paradise so I can have more mana again next turn. I was thinking about the Gil Glove to draw the card before the Narset came back. But 
You know, like now, like with playing Gift of Paradise here, that does mean that I can play Star of Extinction next turn. Keep an open mind. Yeah, go ahead and just put another card in your hand. They'll just move to discard and discard. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Thumbwar. Thanks for that sub there. Okay. 13th sub of the day. I'm hoping this Immortal Sun just kind of shuts down my opponent. Seen one, the one to spark so far. Right, don't get activate. Now I get to draw multiple cards a turn. I guess they have Command the Dread Horde. Alright, well that's bad for me. We are so close for so many turns there of comboing off. Didn't quite do it though. So I don't I don't think I'm I don't think I really have outs, to be honest. I know my responsibility. Because we've used all of these masterminds acquisitions. I'm known for my excellent timing. I don't think I have another sweeper in my main deck. My way to get back Mastermind's Acquisition is Tamiya, which I can't activate because of Immortal Sun, even if I draw it. So we'll take our two draw steps here, but I... Oh, we have Flood of... We have the Flood of Tears. Flood. Dang, we drew the Tamiya also, but I can't activate Tamiya. Yeah, never mind. Flood could have worked, because I'd put these back in my hand and everything. Yeah, Flood was our out. Blood, we need you. Cleansing Nova's in the sideboard. Yeah, I put Cleansing Nova in the sideboard, so couldn't draw that one.
Yeah, I'll, I threw, threw all the root snares in the sideboard. That was like our, our game one. We just drew all of our root snares against Esper. And, you know, they were just all dead cards just to have. So that was that was our unfortunate draw game one. All right, match number two. Looks like we got a mirror match here. So not not Esper, but still it's a fairy deck. Still just like a you know another planeswalker deck that just plays command the dread horde. It's basically the same thing. To the library. Trust me, I have a plan. Put thoughtfulness before action. I don't know if I'm supposed to be keeping that Flood of Tears or not. It, it does seem like a pretty decent card here for this matchup. I guess we're going to need more... Ugh, that'll kill Narset. We're going to need more permanence. How do we get more permanence? Even if I have Acquisition, go find Omniscience. Mortal Sons are permanent. It seems pretty good in this matchup. Uh, correct. Risen Reef does not work with Nissa Lands. Thanks, Yud. Oh, Yud, we had another donation deck. So Golgari discard. Need one more. For Golgari discard. The storied past holds our future. No, I am not making this up as I go. So I just sent you that. I have learned much from my ancestors. Trust me, I have a plan. I demand servitude.
I don't think our opponent's really going to have an, an answer for Immortal Sun. I don't think that deck really does game one. Be, you know, like the Planeswalkers, like they just have the Planeswalkers, Explore Package, Command the Dread Horde. Like they don't have other things. Narset's just another permanent for us. I train we just need one more permanent now. No one is more prepared than me. I can't fog, of course, because of the Teferi. Hey, Sothian. We need some other non-land permanent. So if I use my acquisition, I can acquisition, grab Tamio, play Tamio, next turn flood and go crazy. Yeah, we need we need four. So we have one, two, three right now. I think this does it. Let us have a story battle for us. Retelling. All right, so not exactly sure how this is going to work, to be honest. This is going to be my first time doing this. So we're going to uh, flood. Put Omniscience back into play. All right, now everything costs zero. Uh, Narset minus. I have just the trick for this. Um, it doesn't matter. All right, well, opponent just scoops. That makes it easy. So I was gonna, you know, we we're gonna have Tamio. Like, we had another Flood of Tears in hand to be able to play. So Tamiyo was going to go re-grab the Ma Mastermind's Acquisition. I was going to take the Flood of Tears there. Uh, we're going to put out two more permanents. Then we're going to Flood them back, put Omniscience back into play. And I don't know. I guess I guess have Tamiyo, you know, Tamiyo re-buy-back re back Flood. But we could do it a couple of times. Each time we did it, Tamiyo could grab Flood or grab Mastermind's Acquisition. And then the Masterminds Acquisition was going to go grab the Thousand Year Storm and add that to the pile. Anyway, and then, you know, then Thousand Year Storm. Like, we would have already cast a whole lot of spells, so then after Thousand Year Storm, we just cast the Inscapable Blaze and kill him there. So how am I... How are we winning and how are we sideboarding? Yeah, that immortal shot immortal sun shut them down though. Yeah, we are gonna so the root snares not very confident with those against Little Teferi. on their side. So I'm going to cut those, play an Elder Spell, play a Ritual of Soot. Mm. A Star of Extinction, I suppose.
Yeah, treasure map could be kind of nice with this, because, yeah, you get to make... Yeah, you make non-land permanents. Oh, it says non-token? Right. All right, so the treasure map doesn't work as well. Uh, I suppose so. I don't know. Well, good thing we have a temple there, so we don't have to draw that Star of Extinction. Not on schedule. You. you are certainly behind, sir. This is hardly my worst defeat. Not get a land. Only time will tell. Probably looking at these cards like, what? None of these cards are any bad. None of these cards are a problem. So we need to just top deck Ritual of Soot. That was my plan was to Mastermind's Acquisition for Ritual of Soot. But then, of course, they had the Paradise Druid. So that wouldn't, wouldn't have even worked. This isn't a fight you can win. Not really liking these root snares. Hmm. They're so risky. Like, I could try playing them to try to stay alive. The cards that we brought in didn't feel great either. But just if our opponent has little Teferi and play with creatures, it's just... And we know they play a bunch of little Teferis. It's just like, what is the, the root snare just... Just doesn't do anything. Got 
guess so. Temple, find us white land. Oh, no, we have white land here. All right, we're good there. Uh, deck tech upgrades. Yeah, that's uh, $10 for deck techs. And I can do that on stream or off stream. I can also just, uh, you know, chat with you about the deck off screen. Or sorry, off stream also if you'd like. Risen Reef. It does kind of feel like this deck would just be better with a bunch of mana creatures. So we actually have permanents that can get Flood of, the, Flood of Tears out earlier and and then, you know, like with Flooded Tears, Omniscience, with just a bunch of mana creatures. Sorry I'm late. I've got time. It doesn't seem that difficult to cast Omniscience, though, also. Just the Cavaliers, the Risen Reefs, like the Gift of Paradise, like, ramp up pretty fast. Omniscience doesn't seem that difficult to cast. I mean, the Teferi's going to die the next turn. But getting the Paradise Druid out of there does slow them down quite a bit. Could have saved Teferi <clears throat> with the Cleansing Nova. Massacre Girl? But really thought the Teferi is going to be dying anyway and just wanted to be able to get another creature with it. We're only two, two lands away from actually just casting Omniscience. It's almost like our opponent sideboarded out all their Planeswalkers. They did, hadn't played a Planeswalker game two or three yet.
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, we got on missions. Oh, wait, they have Brontodon. Crap, I need to kill Brontodon first. Hmm. Crap, I forgot about Brontodon blowing up on missions. Oh, I didn't think about that. Uh. Crap. I mean, I'm pretty sure this last card's Command the, command the Dread Horde. Pretty sure that's their last card there. It's like I'm... I don't really want to cast the Ritual of Sud anyway that they know about, because they're they'll get all these things back, but... Of course, then we'll have Flood. There we go. All right. We go grab Tamio. Every story is an opportunity for new data. The past is never forgotten. All right, then we flood. Put omniscience on the battlefield. And there we go. And we get to combo kill our opponent. Going infinite there. GG's. All right, one and one. That's why we're playing more than one omniscience. So even whenever one omniscience gets destroyed, we just find another. It doesn't matter if they blow up one when you have two. Perfect, Elijah. Thank you. Don't have blue mana, but we can we can try to find blue mana with these temples. Um, all right, so after this league, we'll do the deck tech after this league. All right, there's blue mana. And all right, well now we're just going to go ahead and gift a paradise so we can set up cleansing Nova. This is another Dreadhorde deck. I honestly don't remember the last time we played against a non-Dreadhorde deck. I mean, it had to have been in... I don't know, like maybe with the Sultai deck? This is at least the fifth Command the Dreadhorde deck in a row that we've played. You know, including the Esper controls, because like all the Esper decks are playing Command the Dreadhorde also. It's a messed up card. Your tasks seek and find. Hooray. 
All right, so I think I want a temple first. So I really want a land on top. I actually want to scry here, look for a land. I mean, I guess Narset's good to have. All right, I guess Narset's good to have. So we'll go Gil Globe, draw the Narset then, and hope this is a land here. Ugh. I guess it's not a bad one that gives buys us another turn. Thanks, Telstar. I think you will find my notes helpful. No, Dreadhorde's not bannable. Yeah, I guess I guess Masker Girl to kill a Risen Reef, I suppose. I am not going to sit this one out. Every deck is just a fairy. To fairies and dread hordes. It's at least five in a row for to fairies and dread hordes. Let's skip to the good part. I don't I just don't remember what the sixth what the you know six decks back what we played against. And one permanent short. As long as they don't find Little Teferi here. Yep, drink water. We don't have this thing won or anything, but... I guess it doesn't matter if they find little Teferi because we still just get to Root Snare in response. So actually, never mind, we're good. Hmm. I know, I know. And then the actually, never mind, it does matter if they find little Teferi because they could bounce a Risen Reef. So the the thing that shows them what cards they know about isn't really working here. Yeah, if we get lucky, we get to kill them next turn. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here goes nothing. All right, good. They didn't bounce a Risen Reef. That is good. All right, Omniscience in. Reef time. Another reef. Ooh, perfect. Another flood of tears. And Tamio. All right, so that's infinite. There are so many mysteries. Hone your prowess. So 
So now we just got to find Mastermind's acquisitions. Yeah, I already have another flood of tears. We don't need a minus. So we can just tick up. Let me aid your research. All right, acquisition. Nope. Let's play this to fairy. Yep, bounce a risenry. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Here we go. Scry. I don't really need that. Risen Reef. Another Risen Reef. We gotta find it a Mastermind's acquisition eventually. There we go. Alright, so now acquisition. That will grab Thousand Year Storm. You only copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. Uh, Guild Globe, you can cycle, I suppose. Am I gonna. I'm going to deck myself. Okay. Play Thousand Year Storm. Where's Tamiyo? Play Tamiyo. Tonight. Have Tamio go get acquisition back. No tail should be discarded. Cast acquisition. So go grab finale. So what we're getting five cards. Uh, you. It only returns creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. What the heck is this card doing in our deck? Uh, you. Okay. Uh, I was getting the blaze. Oh. Oh. The rage quit. That is the ragest of quits. All right, we are two and one. We are two and one. Um, Elijah, so do you want me to use the, like the Abzan Angels that I, like an Abzan Angels that I have here, or do you, do you have like an Abzan Angels list that you'd like me to, to use for the deck tech? I guess that's the best question. Do you have a list that you'd like me to use uh, that I can can look at and, and talk about and talk about maybe some things to upgrade? Um, Yeah, I guess that's that's a good question there. And yeah, we'll be doing it after the after the league, so not after just this match, but whenever the league finishes up. Since we're recording for, okay, the angel deck and the stream decker, okay. Hey, Eric, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for bringing the hype. Hope you enjoy all those awesome emotes. So right now, kind of looking for white mana. Uh, I'll just take the Hinterland Harbor, honestly. 
So we don't have to like go shock, shock. Mostly a YouTube watcher. Well, thanks for, yeah, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. A scholar of the ages. I honestly don't even know what that card does. So normally we'd want to just shock in, play the Gil Globe. But is it worth shocking against the deck that's Mountain Mountain? Probably not. So I'll just play the Overgrown Tomb. We can probably just play this Gil Globe later on. We like our next couple of turns we're gonna have some we're gonna have plenty of things to play. Um, Ben, I believe that's some information about the mastery past stuff. No, Gruel is definitely not done with 2020. Two of the best cards in the set are Gruel cards with Vivian and Chandra. That's rude. Don't worry. So they're going to be playing the Chandra next turn, presumably. So I'm just kind of slowing them down here by bouncing the Chain Whirler. They won't deal as much damage. I could have, you know, could have just gone Risen Reef Root Snare. Also, ooh, they're electing to not go Chandra. Okay, that's fine. What do I think about Naya Angels? I think it lacks... I think it's good against aggro, but not good against the other mid-range control decks. It kind of it lacks the late-game punch, like the over-the-topness that a lot of these other decks have. Present and future are bound by threads of time. I must train harder. Put thoughtfulness before action.
don't really know exactly what I'm doing here, to be honest. I don't I don't really have any thoughts on mastery pass capping at a thousand XP a day. I don't I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm fully admitting that I don't know exactly what I am doing here. Getting four permanents in play with Flood of Tears is pretty tough. Gift of Paradise is a good draw. I mean, Gil Globe into Gift of Paradise. Lame. Like they had so much mana, I, I don't really feel like Flood. I think I, I think I probably used I used my Root Snare a turn too early. I think that's one thing that I. That's one thing I regret from there. I think I used the root snare a t turn too early. There isn't really like a, a good anti red card in here. Like even in this whole sideboard of all these like weird things. Like we have this weird weird clear the stage in here. We don't have any You know, like this seems like this would be a good a good deck for like the you know, a sanguine sacrament or I don't know, something that just gains a whole lot of life or Or something like that. Are gonna get rid of the Teferis for a cry and a set. Because Cavalier and Angolas do some good blocking. Yeah, they do some good blocking for us. Um, maybe the Cleansing Nova goes to the board then. Yeah, Othakaya would fit in this deck very well. That's a permanent to pick up and everything. Yeah, this, this definitely feels like an Othakaya deck. Yeah, that could be a, a pretty nice one, to be honest. Yeah, that yeah, Othakaya does feel real yeah, that does feel like that would be a good a good card in here. Yeah, you, know, you get to grab it off Narset. It's a permanent. I like it. Alright. Hmm. So I'm keeping this because it's a black source. We're going to need two uh, black lands. If we're trying to play like Cry of the Cranium and Ritual of Soot and things like that. Mastermind's Acquisition.
yeah, the deck may not need like a whole lot of Othakayas, but the first one, like playing the first Othakaya, certainly seems worth it. I could go for Gift of Paradise here, and then next turn be able to, you know, play my Gift of Paradise and have Root Snare next turn instead of Ritual of Sitting next turn. No, that's a good point. Just having more enchantments. Let's light it up. As y'all are saying, some like Ixalan's binding prison prison realm. That could certainly use some more cards like that. I mean, do I want the land? No. I don't know how we're gaining life here. Is there a reason why Fibblethip would be better than Guild Globe? Fibblethip seems to seems like it would die a lot easier than than Guild Globe. I mean, it gets the chump block, I, I suppose. No but you know, we need like the four permanents in play for our combo. I'm one short from Gift plus Flood. I mean, I, I have to cast Flood here because the Chandra ultimate. So I don't have a choice. I mean, I can activate Golos, I suppose. Swing to kill Chain Whirler. Why would they? Why would they block? Yeah, it's it's really unfortunate we don't get to gift first and then. And then flood that we're one mana short. Because, you know, gain three life, then pick it up, then gain three life again would have been really nice. What? My hair is on fire? This is just gonna be bad. Oh, come on. Couldn't she just miss that turn so we could we could play gift? Here, gain our three. Restart. We would have been able to gift plus Golos there and, and ramp. You know, double ramp there.
Panavia. Thanks so, so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Six month hype there. I didn't use the ability because with Golos because you know we may have died. We would have just it's just cast the top three cards of your library. You know, play the top three cards of your library, but we don't know what those cards are. So, you know, it's just really risky. Yeah, it's possible we could have gotten Omniscience. Yeah, it's possible. Um, you know, maybe it's a better risk than... It's it's possible it's a better, better risk than trying to stay alive for another turn. Um, all right, so Omni-Tier. So... Okay, so yeah, Othakaya definitely seems worth it. I really didn't like the root snares too much. I don't even think I don't even know if these Teferis are worth it, honestly. Like Teferi does a good job of slowing down your opponent, which is certainly what you want, but so does Othakaya. So Othakaya coming in. Probably like one main, one board for whenever you play against the red decks. Um, I don't know if that's exactly accurate, Jettage. Our deck's just pretty pretty medium. But we have a, a, a sweet combo kill. Teferi is better with Oath, yes, whenever you get to have Teferi bounce your Oath. But if we if we need to fit in Oath somewhere... I got Stover to Fairy. Um, yeah, that's true. To Fairy does protect your omniscience during your omniscience turn. All right, well, we could probably just cut a root snare. Card wasn't that good at all. Sideboard wise, I would not have Finale, Finale, Zakama. Clear the stage, Mirari Conjecture. Those four cards in particular just aren't useful. I don't think you need a second Golos. I'd probably rather have another Cavalier over the other Golos. So that's five slots there. Um... What do we want in the sideboard, though? I'm not sure. Is this Drake really that good against the red deck? Like against mono red, do you want a uh, Sir Yulin Drake? Lyra does feel like probably a really good card. Yeah. Yeah, like one... Probably one Lyra, one Sacrament for the red matchup. All right, and then... What are you doing against Esper? That's right, somebody said Scholar of the Ages before. So you want this 
for after you already have omniscience in play, then you acquisition for scholar, and then scholar gets back your acquisition and something else. So you can get back like two acquisitions, for example. Could have mass manipulation in this deck. Yeah, it that's what I'm trying to that's it does kind of seem like that, right? Like if we already have omniscience and masterminds acquisition, don't we already win? I guess if you only have those two You'd have you'd go grab Tamio and Tamio would get back acquisition. So why would you play that over Bond of Insight? I don't know. Yeah, Bond of Insight just costs four mana less. You don't get the 3-3, three, three, but who really cares about the 3-3? Three, three? Um, the dimples had like a longer question earlier correct protection red can't be damaged um, for cards that so yeah no the one one does not die to chain whirler the pro red one for cards that are good against aggro in the main board that aren't necessarily good against control like root snare how does one argue you put your cards that are better against aggro in the main opposed to the side I mean so okay, so the question, so the, the next part is: Is it important to last and potentially win game one against aggro, or is it more important to win game one against control? That's kind of like a metagame choice, you know. Like that's that's something that like the more control decks there are, you know, the less anti-aggro you have, and the more aggro decks there are, the more anti-aggro stuff you want game one. That's it's kind of like a metagame choice. It's kind of a, a deck choice if you. Could, the better you think your deck can beat control, the, how much you can get away with the anti-aggro stuff early and everything. I don't think you really need the draw seven. I just, I don't really know what to do with these other sideboard slots, honestly. Uh, it does feel like we need more sweepers for the control decks or more more ways to deal with creatures. Like maybe, I said sweepers for the creature decks. You know, like like Gruel, for example, like I feel like we just get run over really, really hard by Gruel. Um, maybe, also, maybe we need more root snares in the sideboard for other creature decks. For like mono white, Gruel, decks like that. Um, it does feel like duresses would just be good to help protect like honestly maybe we just play a whole bunch of duresses that you sideboard in against control that help proactively like to help your spells resolve proactively I don't really want negates as much because a little to little to fairy. I am not sold at all that root snare is better than a sweeper. The playing just playing more sweepers is better. 
in the main deck even. You know, playing like another Soot and Nova instead of playing Root Snares. The best thing Root Snare does is, is it doesn't kill your Risen Reef. So you can pick it up. It's like the best thing it does. Oh, Urban Utopia. Yeah, I mean, it's basically more Guild Globes, but that fix our mana better. It's possible that card's better for us than Guild Globe. Just depends on how many Field of Ruins we face. Yeah, that's true. Time wipe doesn't kill Risen Reef. So I don't know. A lot of ways to go here. A lot of ways to go with the deck. The main thing is I, I do think Othakaias are a good addition. Um, and those, those four sideboard cards that we cut were not useful sideboard cards. Those other ones that we got rid of. So this could kind of help here. Um, yeah, there's, I have one oath main, one oath sideboard to bring in the extra oath against other aggro decks, but I mean, Oath's, Oath's even good against control of like killing their planes, you know, killing the three mana planeswalkers, even against um, Esper. Oath is just a good card. So, all right, we should probably move on. We got a lot to still cover today. So, there we go. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but thanks for watching this donation deck here with Omni, Omni Tears, and I will see you for another video.